Xin chào, what's up everybody? In this video, we're gonna talk about Vietnam is better than Thailand. And that's gonna be a clickbait title. And is that necessarily true? Uh, probably not, but sometimes Papa's gotta get those views. But we will talk for some serious reasons why there's been kind of an exodus out of Thailand for the Philippines and other countries, especially out of vloggers and content creators. I think the biggest thing that's really happening in Thailand is, you know, there's a lot of political stuff going on there that's not the greatest. And then inflation is actually really hitting there and it's actually driving up the cost of things comparative to just two years ago. And of course, inflation is hitting everywhere, but it's hitting Thailand a little bit stronger than what it is here. Now, the visa situation in Thailand is pretty, pretty good. It's pretty easy. It's not... Uh, nearly as short as the one in Vietnam right now but the two major differences with that is in Vietnam you can continuously redo the 30-day visa I've got people coming up on their fifth one now no problem and it literally takes four to five hours yes it's a pain that you got to do it every 30 days but but it's possible and they are gonna bring back longer-term visas that's for sure I think they're at least going to bring back a 90-day visa. And I'll, I'll give you my timeline on that and why I think it's going to be that. I've talked about it in some other videos if you're a viewer of the channel. But I do really believe that they're going to bring it back because what's going to happen is right now they're in a, a complete travel boom, right? So everybody in Vietnam hasn't really been able to travel for two summers in a row. And now they've really got this opportunity as the kids are on break from school to go and travel. So. If you go to the airport right now in the domestic terminal, it is absolutely insane. It's like a freaking zoo inside of that place. There is like 100,000 people in there, I swear. There are so many people coming and going. All the resort cities and beach cities are full with people. The Chang's packed. Vung Tao is just absolutely crushed on the weekends, Mark tells me. All these places are super busy right now with the summer domestic boom. Well, what's gonna happen is after the kids go back to school that boom is going to go away and it's going to go away in a rapid amount of time so they're going to need some kind of gap filling for that tourism boom so the logical thing would do would be to bring back at least a 90-day visa or a six month or a one year i do believe what's going to happen is they're going to do visa free for a bunch of countries in my honest opinion that's what they propose the most is to do a 90-day visa free for like 83 plus countries so I see it's very possible. If they do that, it's a game changer. The other reason why Vietnam is a bit more desirable than Thailand right now is there's absolutely zero restrictions to come in. If you're an anti-vaxxer, this is your place. They don't care. There is absolutely zero requirements to come into this country right now. Zero, there isn't one. Literally, the only requirement is that you get an e-visa. I will link you to the website for getting the e-visa in Vietnam in the description. That is the only website, it's the official government website. You do not need anybody to help you with this. You don't need to hire an agent. You can do this all on yourself. It's very simple. If you are gonna stay and continue to re-extend it, you just file for a new one like 10, 15 days before your one expires. You get it, you do a border run and you come back over. Good things too that also improve the border run to Cambodia by land is they have dropped the need to be vaccinated to come into Cambodia as of two weeks ago. So now Cambodia only has you take a rapid test when you come over the border. So you'll just take a rapid test as you cross over and boom, you get your new visa, come back through. Occasionally you have to pay a bribe of 100 to 200 K to the Vietnamese when coming back through. This can be avoided if you're a real stickler and you, you stick to your guns. They will sound threatening and scary, but if that worries you, just pay the 100 or 200 K and you'll be able to come back in. Like I said, that bribe is paid to the, a Vietnamese border guy. And that's Vietnam. That's a traditional thing in Vietnam is bribes. It's a very much still has a bribe system set in place in Vietnam. And I don't think that's gonna change really anytime soon. If you ever look at the Vietnamese news, they're talking about corrupt politicians all the time. Some new politicians going to jail all the time. Like whether it's stealing PPE money or, and the coffee shops are just jam packed today. Everybody's out. The city's definitely a little bit more electric again since I've been back. There's more people out, more people out and about, which is very, very cool to see. It very much so makes me happy. But I think for those reasons, you're seeing a lot of people 
exit Thailand. You know, they're going to the Philippines. I can tell you why all the YouTubers are going to the Philippines. It's pretty pretty easy answer with why the YouTubers are all leaving Thailand for the Philippines. They weren't getting any views in Thailand. You know, Thailand is looked at arguably, this is arguably, as kind of like a sexpat tourist area. So most people looking up Thailand, I know there's a bunch of you that look up Thailand that aren't Hello. sexpats. <laughs> that aren't sexpats. But for the most part, if, if a dude's browsing around on YouTube and he's looking at stuff for Thailand, he wants to see, you know, some boobies in the picture. He wants to see a hot girlfriend. Maybe if it is a guy vlogger, the ones that do the most successful there, there are a few dudes that do it on their own, are guys that have hot girlfriends where they put her in like a bikini and a thumbnail, or they go to like a massage shop, which is like full service, and they talk about all that, like all these different things. This guy's filming some kind of video. Probably some kind of reaction, free hug. Oh, I think they used to do this shit in America. Yeah, that's what he's doing. He's waiting to get some free hugs. <laughs> Good for him. Maybe he'll go viral on TikTok. Oh, we're getting a bunch of wind. Let me move back over to the side street. If you didn't see how crazy TikTok's term of service is, by the way, and why I will never use TikTok, take a look at the Joe Rogan podcast. Just type in JRE TikTok terms of service and you will go, what in the... You'll, you'll literally go, how is this even... The amount of stuff that they can do once you sign up to a TikTok account is absolutely crazy. But like I was saying, like, you know, those vloggers that usually tend to have women in them, women with a nice chesticle area and a gorgeous face in the thumbnail, and, and they're pretty prominent in the video, those do really well there. But for the most part, like information stuff and things like this, like just doing stuff in Thailand hasn't been hitting very hard for a lot of YouTubers. So a lot of them went to the Philippines and there's just a lot of people looking at the Philippines right now. A lot of people are looking to go to the Philippines. Men, women, all denominations from all different parts of the world are looking to go to the Philippines. The Philippines has a pretty relaxed approach upon getting in. I think you just have to be vaccinated and you fill out a card. I don't think you have to do a test anymore. If I am wrong on that, please correct me in the comment section, but their visa is also pretty easy too. It's definitely longer than 30 days if I remember right. But that's why you're seeing this gigantic mass exodus of vloggers from Thailand to the Philippines. They're, they're chasing the views, you know? There's been numerous people that had my, my amount of subscribers, 17,000, 15,000, that went to the Philippines and shot kind of their same content that they were shooting in Thailand. And they've got like 100,000 subscribers in less than a month. In a really, really, really quick succession, they have gotten you know, subscribers. And that's from doing the Philippines content because people are looking to go to the Philippines right now. So it's being searched a lot. It's kind of figuring out like what the algorithm is and then chasing it, which is fine, you know? There have been a couple of YouTubers that have done some stuff here that went to the Philippines recently and they did terrible, but it was just like the same mundane content that they always make. Like, here's this hostel to hang out with, which is what, a hostel is appealing to maybe 20 to 40 percent of the, the target audience of your channel i don't think every person's looking to live in a stay in a hostel when they're on vacation i mean that's a that's a market and it's usually going to be your market from 18 to 28 30 years old that is looking for a really cheap cheap place to stay and wants to kind of go out and do party stuff which is fine so that's really why i think you see kind of an exodus in thailand and then the same with, with people leaving is the inflation, like regular people. The inflation, there's some political stuff going on over there that's not so good. You know, things like this. And people are just looking to go other places. Now, I'm not saying one is better than the other. I do like Thailand. I used to absolutely love Bangkok back in the day. I'm not the biggest fan of it now, but we are going to give her a college try next year. We're going to pretty much travel all around Chiang Mai, go all everywhere, Phuket, Pattaya. We're going to go all over the place and check it out, but but not this year. You know, it's not an immediate hurry. So many people have vlogged it recently. It'll eventually come back around as like a highly desirable vlogging spot. Right now, Vietnam's hitting pretty hard for new vloggers that were somewhere else and then travel to another country, and so is the Philippines. So those are my thoughts. Again, this is not set in stone. I could be wrong. If you don't think I'm right, let me know in the comments or if you have other opinions and options to drop into the video, go ahead and drop them. Let's have a discussion in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed to the channel and you did enjoy that comment, I would appreciate it if you did. 
If you don't want to subscribe to the channel, it's absolutely no big deal. We Gucci, keep her moving. If you want to drop a comment, that would be awesome. And of course, if you want to smash the like button, smash the like button. Hold on real quick, let's buy some lotto tickets from this lady. Her foot's all jacked up. Shit, I only got 200K. Uh, milk foot, let me get change, change. I'm gonna go get some change, and then we'll buy uh, some lotto tickets from this lady. I don't need that to be on camera. She looks like she's been working hard all day, so I'm gonna go buy something to drink and get her some money, and we'll buy 10 lottery tickets from her. We'll lace her up. Maybe I'll film the, the tail end of uh, me buying the lottery tickets just so you can see that I actually did. All right, so we went to the store and we got some change. We're gonna buy 10 of them, 100K. 10, okay, 100K. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, okay, that's good. Come on, go, come on. Okay, so we just tipped her 50K, actually. Let her make a little bit of profit on those tickets. Hopefully we got a winner. That'd be awesome. If you're new to the channel, I do do philanthropy work inside of Saigon, Vietnam. I help out orphanages. We raise some money through GoFundMe. If you want to check that out, I will put a link to the GoFundMe video on there. We've done seven orphanages now. We're taking them to the water park in about a week here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found the video very interesting. Stay frosty. See you on the next one. Peace out.